Hi and welcome to this tutorial. We are going to dive into the 10 available engine. Change the engine and you only have to turn the encoder. So the first time that you turn the encoder, the LED ring will display the selected engine. The engines are starting from 1 to 10, virtual analog, wave shape, FM, wave table, MDO, string, hi-hat synth, the snare synth, kick synth, and wave player. So the first one is virtual analog, which consists of two oscillators. The first oscillator is controlled by timber, the second one is controlled by morph, and harm controls the detune between them. Let's try a monophonic sound instead. Let's see how the detune affects the sound. The second ending is wave shape. The wave shape is an isometric triangle processed by a wave shaper and a wave folder. Harmonix controls the wave shaper wave form, Timber controls the wave forward amount, and Morph controls the wave form asymmetry. The third engine is a true operator FM, two sine waves oscillator modulating each other phase. Harmonix controls the frequency ratio, Timber controls the modulation index, and Morph controls the feedback of operator 2. For ending is the wavetable. Coral has one wavetable loaded, which consists of a three-dimension wavetable of three by three by three tables. This wavetable is completely customizable. You can load any wavetable in the SD card. 
the wavetable can be customized with our software OxyWave, where you can create the table. So the sound of this engine completely depends on the wavetable that you have loaded into the module. Arm controls the set dimension. Timber controls the X dimension. Y morph controls the Y dimension. The 27 waveforms of the wave table are crossfaded into one single sound depending on the three dimensional parameters, creating a very large amount of sounds. The next engine is the MDO, Multiple Detune Oscillator. It consists of eight variable shape oscillators per voice. The harm knob controls the detune amount. Timber controls the shape between saw and a square PWM, so all the way to the left. Is pure saw and while we turn clockwise we start getting more square form. Once we are in the square form morph controls the pulse width from perfectly square to a really really short pulse where can barely hear anything. And now let's go to the next engine, which is the string engine. The string consists of two model strings per voice. Harmonics controls how harmonic or inharmonic is the sound. Timber controls the brightness and density. While Morph controls the decaying time and energy absorption. The next engine is the hi-hat synth. Consists of two hi-hat models that blend together. Harmonics controls the balance of the metallic and filters noise. Timber sets the high-pass filter cutoff. Morph crossfades between the two models. The mode decay control affects both the decay and release of the modulation envelope and the internal decay of the engine.
The next engine is the snare synth, which consists of two analog snare drum models blend together. Harm controls the balance between body and noise. Timber affects the sound of the body component. And morph curse phase between the two models. Again, the mode decay controls both the decay of the modulation envelope and the decay of the internal engine. The next engine is the kick model. It consists of two kick or bass drum emulations blend together. Harm controls the attack sharpness and overdrive. Let's go for a lower raise there. Timber controls the overall brightness. And lastly, Morph crossfades between the two models. Here in the middle. Again, mode decay controls the decay of the internal engine. The last model is the wave player. You can place any sample of any bit depth, sample rate and length. It can be mono or stereo. You can have a maximum of 32 samples stored in any of the 10 available folders. So Morph selects the folder, Timber selects the sample in the folder, and ARM works as an overdrive. We can 
speeds down our samples down to minus 24 semitones. It will affect the playback speed and up to 18 semitones. We can apply reverb. Drive. We can instantly change the folder. Oh. Uh -huh. 